Hello and welcome to Miss Enjoy Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I am Miss Enjoy and I am here to do a quickie, a general quickie read for my water signs. That's Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. I do not read reversals. I do not tell you what zodiac signs you may or may not be dealing with because everyone may not know all the planetary placements within their natal zodiac charts. This is a three card quickie reading. I will clarify and give an outcome if needed. If I do not resonate with you this is not your message please feel free to seek another reader or light worker hi everybody if you're a returning subscriber and viewer thank you very much for coming back i appreciate you and love you Mwah. if you are new thank you for coming thank you for being here please take this time to like and subscribe i'm trying to reach a thousand viewers so we can do some live chat answer some questions and get to know each other okay so please take a minute to subscribe Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay, everybody. Let's air my water signs. Let's get into your reading. Like I said, this is a three card general quick read. I'm going to do it could apply to anything. Love, life, family, work, your car, your cat, anything. Okay. I'm going to go in order, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So let's get started. I'm going to pull three cards and we're going to clarify, give advice, pull oracle cards, whatever we need to do. Okay. All right. So for my cancers, how you doing cancers? We're going to ask our gods and goddesses, guardian angels and watchers to please be here and deliver a positive message for my cancers. This read is for the week of June 9th through the 15th, by the way. Okay, this is for June 9th through the 15th for my cancers. Let me a positive message for my cancer spirit. Let me a positive message for my cancers. Hang on, y'all. I'm uncomfortable in my chair. Uh, it's like uh, I'm sliding or something. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, cancers. All right, three cards for my cancer, please, spirit. All right, okay, one more, please, spirit. One more, please, spirit. Okay, so we have, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Lover's Card. Hey, hey now. So you got some decisions to make about what's going to bring you balance and happiness and peace in your life. And this love connection, is that going to be it? Is that going to be it? Okay, we're going to clarify with the wheel. And I'm sorry, we're leading today. You're reading with the Tarot of a Moon Garden uh, cards. And we're going to clarify with the Wheel of the Year Tarot deck, which is what I use to clarify for love. Okay, we have the Five of Cups. Oh, no, no, no. We're not none of that. None of that. Okay, and I had th four, three pop out, so we're going to keep them. Um, okay, so we're going to give it some space. So we have the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Five of Cups, the Star card. Oh, just telling the whole story here. The Knight of Cups, the Chariot card, and the Ten of Wands. Okay. All right, that's simple enough, though. Okay, we're going to clarify the Four of Cups, please, here. One more card, please, to clarify the Four of Cups. One more card, please, to clarify the Four of Cups. Please, Spirit, for my Cancers. One more card, please, to clarify the Four of Cups. Please, Spirit, for my Cancers. One more card, please, here to clarify the Four of Cups. All right, we have the Five of Wands. And the Four of Wands. 
We're going to clarify this lover's card, please, Spirit. From my Cancers, please clarify the lover's card. For my Cancers, please, Spirit. All right, we have the King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Okay, so you have a love and soulmate connection, but you're just in your head, you're really in your head about, well, you're worried about, you're not really in your head, but you're kind of sort of worried that it's, it's not going to fulfill you, that it's not going to be enough for you. Why? Spirit, why? Why? With the Five of Wands here, the Knight of Cups. Oh, why, Spirit? The Knight of Cups and the Two of Wands. Okay, so you're waiting on someone else to make a decision between you and another person. There is a competition. Okay, wait if you want to wait, but if you have to decide between me and another person, please pick the other person. And then in the end, you're not sure, you feel like this is your soulmate here, but because he's coming up as the Knight of Wands, Here's the Ten of Cups. You have a lot of love for him, okay? You have a great deal of love for this person. Uh, you're, you're desperately in love with this person, but you just you just don't know with the Four of Cups here at the end if it's going to work out or because this person has a lot of, he has choices to make. He has a lot to do. And here with the Star card, I know you wish and you want him to make that move toward you, but there's a lot that he's going to have to do. In order to get there. And you're, that's why you're back here with this five of cups. I call that my crying over spilt milk card. Um, yeah, because somebody's got options. So if this is you or you're the cross watcher, you know who you are in this situation. But somebody's got options to make. They're either in a situation already or they're trying, they're, they're trying to decide which situation they want to be in. Either way, it's going to take a lot of work and a long road ahead of you before there can be any success or progress. I am getting that it is a love made or a soul made connection. But being that that's followed up with the King of Wands, I'm getting that you possibly may not even be the only damn one. So why, the, like I said, if you have to decide, then decide in the other direction. Because I need you to know off the top of your head that I want that to one that's what i need i don't need somebody who needs who has to weigh their options between me and the next person that's just how i feel about it let me pull some moonology oracle advice cards if you have to choose choose the other motherfucker i'm not interested if you don't know if you don't look at me instantly and know i'm your person then move around. There's somebody out there for you. The Cancer, there's somebody out there for you. There's somebody out there that's going to know instantly, hey, that's my person right there. And there won't be a question. There won't be a competition here with the Five of Wands. They're in a, this is a hand wrestling, comp arm wrestling competition. Okay? What kind of shit is that in a love situation? Nobody want to deal with that. Nobody wants to deal with that type of thing. I, what you mean? Let me see what they're going to do. Let me see what... Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't care if you have seven cups. You better know that this cup is your best option. Please pick the other person. Okay. That's just me, though. That, that's just me. Some people like competition. I'm told that Aries like competition. Can I'm an Aries? 
sun but my venus is in taurus so i'm very grounded in that and and you know tauruses are very stuck up ish when it comes to that i, I don't play that you either know i'm the one or just, no i'm I, no i'm not i know you're not the one how about that if you if you don't know i'm the one then i know you're not the one how about that i don't do indecision and that's not sexy indecision is not sexy no one who doesn't know what, who isn't confident enough in themselves to know what they want. I mean, and we've all been there where we didn't quite know exactly what we want. But, but, but a certain level of indecision is just not sexy. Know what you want. That confidence is beautiful. Communication is key. Okay. That's one of your earth life cards. Communication is key. Luck is on your side. If you want to be lucky. And your dreams need a practical plan. So, I mean, there is happiness at the end of this Ten of Pentacles, this Ten of, of, of Wands, and here with this Ten of Cups. But, you know, I guess you just have to figure out how you're going to get there. I just guess how, it's going to be a lot of work. To get to that little with the ten of wands here. To get to the little house on the hill. I guess you just have to figure out if that work is worth it. And if so, press on. But somebody's got a decision to make of who they want to give their love to in this situation. I don't know if it's you or the other person. But good luck to you. Get to deciding. <laughs> either choose or be. Or I hope, I hope you either choose or... Or I hope that you are chosen. Whatever you require, whatever you desire. All right? <laughs> Love you, Cancers. Moving on. Scorpios, what's up with y'all? Let's see. What's up with y'all? Spirits, gods and goddesses, guardian angels and watchers, please be here. Deliver us a positive message for my Scorpios. We are using the Gilded Tarot deck for my Scorpios. We will clarify based on what she says. We will clarify based on what it says. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. All right. June 9th to the 15th. Three cards for my Scorpio, please, spirit. Three cards for my Scorpios, please, Spirit. Three cards for my Scorpios, please, Spirit. There we go. Beautiful. All right, we have the Six of Wands, the Star card, and the Nine of Pentacles. All right. We're manifesting that money. We're calling in that money. We're wishing for that money. We're working on that worth. All right. Yay, 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 Scorpios. Okay, so we're going to... No, let me use... I want to use the Lisa Parker Familiars deck to clarify for you, my Scorpios. All right. Spirit, gods and goddesses, guardian angels and watchers. We're going to clarify for my Scorpios. Energy. June... 9th through the 15th, we're going to clarify my, for my Scorpio energy. June 9th through the 15th, we're going to clarify for my Scorpio energy. June 9th through the 15th, we're going to clarify for my Scorpio energy. Alright, we're going to clarify the Six of Wands here, please, Spirit. Clarify the Six of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. Please, one more card to clarify. Alright. We have the Chariot card. Okay, so the Six of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Chariot card. That's great. Clarify the Star card, please, Spirit. Clarify the Star card, please, for me here, for my Scorpios. Please clarify the Star card for my Scorpios. All right, and we have the Eight of Swords, the Judgment card, and the Eight of Wands. All right. Yeah, so this is having to do with work, finally. Not a love situation. The Nine Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Ha ha. 
one more card please to clarify the nine of pentacles please spirit or whatever you would have me have since this is the last one in the spray all right and they're slinging cards all right so we have the ten of swords and the two of cups Okay, so somebody is working hard. You're working two jobs. You either are working two actual job, job, jobs, or you're still working two jobs because you're either working a job and starting your own. Where was that? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. That's telling, that, that makes me feel like not only are you working a regular job, but you're working on your own job or your own business. You're getting your own business and you're an entrepreneur, okay? Um, you will be victorious here, though, with the Six of Swords. I'm sorry, the Six of Wands here in the beginning. You will be victorious. Um, you will. You know the truth about. You know. You know. You're. You're. You're working on. What? What? What's, 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 what? What am I saying? What am I trying to say? What is Spirit trying to say? Um, 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 your message is positive. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You're on the right path. Um, you're moving forward. This is good forward, positive movement in the right direction here with the chariot card. Okay, so like I said, back here, we have the star card to the eight of swords. I want you to stop worrying about it. It's going to be okay. This is what you deserve. And then here you have the eight of wands. You're putting in the work. So what are you worried about? You're working hard, okay? You're manifesting everything that you need, and it's definitely going to be okay. Let me move this over. I don't know if I'm in. Am I in my camera zone? I am. Okay. All right. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, it's going to be okay, because in here, we have the Nine of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, okay, and then the Two of Cups, all right? So, I do want you to be careful. I don't want you to overwork yourself, okay? I don't want you to overwork yourself and get burnt out. I need you to balance this in a positive manner because if you burn out, you could burn you could burn it down. Okay? All right? But you're doing great. You're doing great. You're manifesting, you're putting in that hard work. Stop worrying. Worrying can burn you out as well. Okay? Don't worry, Scorpio. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. Okay? You got this. You got this. Don't doubt yourself. We're going to pull some Moonology Oracle advice cards for you. All right? Give me a good positive advice cards for my Scorpio, please, Spirit. Give me some good positive advice cards for my Scorpio, please, Spirit. Give me good positive advice cards for my Scorpio, please, Spirit. Okay, we'll take those because it's more than one there. What we have, we have a time to get ready to take and meditate and contemplate. Right, so take time, okay, to to meditate, to go into your into yourself, clear out that worry, clear out that doubt, work on yourself, um, your self-image, your self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, your self-confidence, you're going to be okay. You are good at whatever you're doing or you wouldn't be doing it. You wouldn't think that you could, hey, I can make some money doing this or, hey, I'm good at this or, hey, I know this well enough to profit from it. And you know this. Okay, so you're going to be okay. Keep pressing forward. You can do it. You are doing it. Keep working positively and you have positive movement. Okay, positive forward movement. You, you're going to be all right. The prosperity is there. Get out of your head about it. Don't overwork yourself and don't overstress yourself. It will happen. Keep chugging along. Okay? All right. So we're going to move on. Pisces. For my Pisces. How are you doing, my little fishies? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. 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 What do we do? We swim. Yes, I'm going to sing it every week. I'm sorry. Okay. I love y'all, Pisces. Okay. Um, God's guardians. God's goddesses, guardian angels, and watchers, please be here with us to deliver my fishies, my Pisces. Just keep swimming. A positive message. For June 9th through the 15th. Yes, I'm going to sing every week. I love that movie. Nemo is like one of my favorite all-time movies, okay? Because it taught me a lesson. When it came out, my fishies were still little. And I have, and they still, as they got older, 
they they I think my daughter was so shocked when she turned 18 and she asked could she go to a party like a few towns away about an hour or so away and it was a paint party and yeah millennials anyway um and when she turned 18 she and I said yes because when she asked she was like she was like mom can I go to a paint party with my friend and I was like yeah sure she she was like, what? <laughs> you said, what? And I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. You said, what? I'm like, okay, you're 18. You're an adult now. I have to let you out. And people kept saying for years, I, I got so much criticism because I would not let them out. I wouldn't want them to go anywhere. So I was just like, what, Marlon in the movie? I was like, don't go near the edge. Don't go near the drop-off. Don't go near the drop-off. I'm like... I'm like, no, don't go out there. Don't do it. You can't. She'd be like, Ma, can I walk to the store up the street? I'm like, no, there's too much traffic to be over the highway. You can't walk up the... But Ma, it's just, I don't care. No. And then I was terrible. I was, mm, mm I didn't know. You will not die on my... You're 18 and you're grown and you go out there and you get yourself killed it. Fine. But before you're out there grown, while you're on my watch, nobody's getting themselves killed it. Okay? <laughs> you will live. You will live to at least the 18 if I brought you here. Okay? And they did that. I had some very close calls. I, my son got shot, but he was over 18. He was 19. But still, that's not something you want to experience. He lived. He still has a bullet in his body. Bless his heart and his soul. He, he has a God complex now. He thinks, I, I took a bullet. I'm still here. I'm not going nowhere. So he does stupid shit now. But, you know, he's getting there. He's getting there. He has children, so he's like, he's leveling off for the sake of the offspring, and I love that. So, yes, Miss Enjoy is a Meemaw. I have grandbabies. I have four grandbabies. I was a Meemaw. And I love my grandboos and my world and my world. Okay. Pisces, Pisces. All right. Maybe there's a reason for me telling that story. Maybe it's related to your... Because I have a Pisces friend whose son just hit, uh, it's, he's going into his senior year and she's not so nostalgic, I just want to smack her. I'm like, look, I know it felt like he was in diapers yesterday, but calm your nerves, he is taller than you. Okay. Okay. All right, one more spirit please for my Pisces. One more for my Pisces. Okay, we're going to take you. You're trying to get out. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Five of Cups. <clears throat> okay, so somebody's a little... You Actually, you, you're having a little worry and anxiety. You feel, well, you're feeling trapped. You're feeling trapped by the King of Swords, and there's emotional imbalance. Or stability going on. Let's clarify. We're leading. I'm sorry for my Pisces. What was that? Not a what? Not a oh. <laughs> it was a weird noise. Okay. Alright. So I got the Nine of Swords. The King of Swords. And the Five of Cups. We're going to. And we led with the Miss Cleo Power Deck. And we're going to clarify with the Witch's Tarot. All right, for my Pisces, we're going to clarify the Pisces energy. My, my Pisces for June 9th through the 15th. My Pisces, June 9th through the 15th. My Pisces, June 9th through the 15th. All right, Spirit, we're going to clarify the Nine of Swords here. Why are we feeling trapped? Why are we feeling trapped? Clarify this Nine of Swords. Let's clarify. Temperance card. One more, please, to clarify the Nine of Swords. One more, please, to clarify the Nine of Swords. One more to clarify the Nine of Swords, please. The Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Uh -huh. 
Okay, clarify the Three of Swords, please, Spirit. Clarify the Three of Swords. Please clarify the Three of Swords, Spirit. Please clarify the Three of Swords. the King of Swords, please, Spirit, clarify the King of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords, please, Spirit, clarify the King of Swords. You may not have anything else to say because this is, this is the Temperance, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. But I don't understand why... This is definitely a marriage. It's stable and financially stable. So, I, this is in the past. Someone was feeling trapped. But now there's been healing. There was stability. There's now stability. And financial stability. And happiness. And there is celebration. Please clarify the King of Swords. Please, Spirit, clarify the King of Swords. Please, okay, let me try this. Let me try this. Okay, let's, let's pull out the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Since this is definitely talking about a love situation, we're going to pull out the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Since it's definitely talking about a love, a marriage, a romance situation, we're going to pull out the year, Wheel of the Year Tarot. I use it to read for love, for L-O-V-E, Adapi. All right, clarify the King of Swords for me, please, Spirit. For my Pisces, clarify the King of Swords. All right, all right, there we go. Talk to me, Tarot, talk to me. All right, here we go, some explanation. Okay, so we have the King of Swords clarified by the, the, the Six of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the five of pentacles okay i understand that feeling sometimes even though your marriage is happy even though you're good even though everything is going great um you're financially balanced you're you're there's no um there's no toxicity sometimes you just get lost in the marriage and kind of lose yourself and you kind of end up feeling out in the cold especially um when your parents um you get caught up in i'm just a dad Excuse me. I go to work. I coach a little league. I I I mow the lawn. I, I I go to my meetings. I go play golf. I you know. But I'm I'm feeling emotionally imbalanced. I'm I feel like I'm missing something. So I'm getting it. You everything's good in your life, but you can't feel like you can't figure out why exactly you're feeling trapped, smothered, and what you're missing. And the same thing as a mom, you get caught up in the 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 the, the transportation to, to dance classes and soccer classes and cheer parenting and coaching like I did, and then you know doctor's appointments and teachers meetings and PTA meetings and the play is next week and the 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 the, the bake sale and the charity drive. And you just get caught up, and you get you 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 get buried, and that's what I'm feeling here. It's like a life avalanche, and then you just wonder, well, who the fuck? I remember when I was a person, a person. Where did I remember when I was Jane or Sally, and now I'm not Jane or Sally. I'm mom, oh, or I'm I'm Joe's mom, and I'm Jill's mom, or you're Sam's wife. Or your Paul's wife. You know, you just, you're not even, there were people who didn't, you. there were people who would walk up to me and address, actually address me in public. They'd go, oh, you're such, hi, such and such as wife. And I would not answer. And they'd be like, why won't she answer me? I'm like, motherfucker, I got a name. If you don't know my name, don't bother to speak to me. Don't come up to me and say, hi, such and such as mom. No, okay, I took, I took more pity on the kids because like if you went to school with my kid i don't expect you to know my name other than if you don't know their last name 
or you know their last name. But like I'll be in the store a lot of times and they'd say, okay, hi, such and such is mom. That I'll accept from the children. But from grown ass people, don't address me in public talking about hi, so and so's wife. No, I have a name. Okay. And I'm getting it. That's what you're, you're feeling just buried in life, just trapped. And it's, I mean, everything's good. And that happens. And it's nothing to be ashamed about. It's a good time to actually take time for you. Get a spiritual advisor. Get a real counselor. Um, get a psychologist. Get somebody to talk to. Get a friend. Get a spa membership. Go to yoga. Take some time for yourself. Take some time for yourself. Gentlemen, don't always go to the golf course just to play with others. Go just to swing, just to knock off some balls. Just to, yeah, that didn't, yeah. Anyway, moving forward. That moving forward. Um, <clears throat> you go, you know, go to the movies by yourself. Go to, hush, masculine, hush. You heard the word, you heard the B-A-L-L-S ball word. Don't, just let it go. Let it go. Whew. Okay, you're going to make my video run long. Okay, here we go. We're going to clarify the five of cups. We're going to We're moving on, Pisces. We're moving on. Clarify the five of cups. You know what I'm saying. Do some you time. Do you. You have to maintain you, okay? It's okay to feel this way. It is. I felt this way. I used to have a fantasy that my husband and kids would go get in the car and just never come home. Not that anything bad would happen to them, but just that maybe they'd get sidetracked for a couple days. And I could just sleep. You know what I'm saying? I understand. I understand. They could do your hair. Get your nails done. Guys, go get a haircut. Get the Go get a couple beers by yourself. Just go to the bar. Sit there. Watch whatever's on. And throw a couple back. I mean, just do you. Disappear. Just disappear. Okay? All right. Um. So we have the five of co co uh, cups enter uh, followed by the two of coins and the six of coins. Yeah, you have a wonderful, balanced, loving, happy thing going on you just need to stop and breathe and get yourself back okay i know it's got you feeling a little bit out in the cold but that's all it is here that you need to nurture yourself with this ace of cups here all right that's all nothing else nothing else is going bad nothing else is going bad this is wonderful beautiful just just take some time for you all right pisces i will talk to you guys next week i love you Bye bye a list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.